Oh, Mom, people had questions last time about this, so someone thought that you were, the Aldi was profiting off of people using their carts. Heck no. So, this They're is what happens. They're using our labor. Put the quarter in, get a cart. And then, if you plug it back in, you get your quarter I can back. show you what that's like. I mean, Woo! it won't be the same quarter. You're going to get somebody else's quarter, yeah. but how it tastes right to your quarters. Anyway. Yeah. It's kind of funny because that controversy's been going on forever because um, there was a, a newscaster and the, the newscasters probably didn't get the concept. They thought you were paying a quarter. So oh, really? Yeah. Nope, you get it back. It just stays on labor because I think, I mean, I don't know how many people they have on per shift here, but they probably only have like three or four people. Yeah, yeah, they save a lot yeah. on that. And also like, that's also why there's just like yeah, boxes of things. Fancy. So you don't I have to take it out. Because the groceries are the same when you get them home. Yeah. Whether they're a fancy display or not. So long as you can get past that. Okay, I need some animals made out of crackers. <laughs> so we can chocolate cover them. Mm hmm. Uh, maybe Triscuit knockoffs. <laughs> Savorites. Savorites are my favorites. Okay, I gotta get a gel pen. You can't grocery shop without a gel pen and it should click. Yeah. You don't want a non-clicking gel pen. <laughs> okay, so we got the Triscuits. Oh, I need maple syrup. I made last night, I made some test French toast casserole for Leah's shower. Mm -hmm. I made um, one vegan and one it would be vegan except I use gluten-free bread for the gluten-free people, that, you know, so it has eggs in the bread, but there's no eggs in the mix. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to love me some chickpea flour. I think yeah. It's also called basan, basan, yeah. basan. Something like that. But apparently you can use that and it makes things somewhat eggish. Yeah. Because I, I tried the casserole, you probably won't want to try it because you don't like it when I make things that have apples and cinnamon in them, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so I, um, I tried the, the vegan one last night. It was quite good. I just went to do a test run before I serve it to unsuspecting people at a bridal shower. Mm -hmm. And they will be unsuspecting because it's vegan and they're not even going to yeah. see it coming. Well, maybe they will though if they know yeah. me. There's a um, uh, vegan scrambled egg recipe. I know you can do a chickpea flour. Yeah, I did make a vegan quiche. Yeah. Um, and I wanted to try it first before we do a recipe video. Mm -hmm. Only two things went wrong. I'm trying to eat more mushrooms even though I don't like them. Yeah. Well, I put mushrooms in it and everything tasted like mushrooms. So oh. I wasn't really down with it. Cause I mean, I can have mushrooms on a pizza and choke it down. I can even eat a raw mushroom. Really? And choke it down. But guess what? If you put it like in a casserole, everything tastes like mushrooms. So yeah. I will never do that again. <laughs> I'll just do more broccoli and spinach and potatoes and yeah. whatnot. I know people, oh, well but yeah, you taste, keep going. It was a quiche and it was quiche like. The only yeah. thing was, I cooked it a little too long, so it was kind of rubbery, yeah. which is not what you're after in a quiche, so I'm mm -hmm. gonna cook it less. Mm -hmm. What were you gonna say? Uh, people have been asking, uh, how much have you been buying in relation to, like just you and dad living at home versus when me and Carol were living at home? I don't know, how much different does it look? Uh, it, it honestly doesn't really look that much different. Right, I, I just go longer in between. Yeah. I mean, before I would go maybe, um, every four or five days. Mm -hmm. So now, it's pretty much once a oh, week. I, I thought it was like once a week before. I guess I never really paid attention. No, I would make little forays. You see, this the... is a real struggle sometimes. Yeah, the struggle is real. <laughs> Somebody put crushed red pepper in the... What the heck? In the cinnamon thing. Maybe that's, that's probably why. why because... <laughs> crushed red pepper. I'd buy it, but I don't need it. Yeah. It's good for your spices. Oh, I do need some chili powder though. Oh, okay. Because today, my struggle was in the Instant Pot. Do I do yeah. beans? Or do I do chili? Yeah, this is a... Uh, oh, Mom, I got it. I think. You you want to keep the finger, right? Yeah. That's good, right? Yeah. It's better. Oh, hopefully it's, it doesn't come out as a projectile and put an eye out. It's, oh. Yeah, that's okay. I don't know that was fine. Is, is it, it though? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't way. know what to do. Don't we're, do anything. We're just trying to help. Walk away. <laughs> just walk away. Okay. So I don't think I need anything down this aisle, but you never know if they have something neat. Yeah. So I'm going to look. <laughs> now, gardening, not so much. Yeah. So, so I think we can just skip that. Yeah. Uh, 
next aisle over. Oh, roasted red peppers. I think they're back here. Really? I need some jars of roasted red peppers because I'm, I'm making more hummus homemade. Yeah. Because that is one thing now that you two are gone. Yeah. If I make homemade hummus, it can last us for a couple of days. Yeah. And then I can make it without oil. I yeah, because like, I remember like I used to occasionally make hummus and I would pretty much eat the whole thing. Right. <laughs> I made some and it lasted us for a couple of days. Yeah. And plus it's oil free, mm -hmm. which is. We are about that life. I'm pretty sure there's roasted peppers in here somewhere. Somewhere. Okay, I'm looking for something. That this is like the pickled section. Yeah, I'm looking for something that's red. That makes sense. If not, I, we can always take a, a shot of the... Um, I have to buy some sauce, some marinara sauce. Yeah. I could possibly get some. It might be there. Uh, there's probably someone who saw it in the video and was like, oh my god, I it's right killing there. me, why yeah. can't you see it? So, in light of that, we're not really trying to kill anybody. Because mm -hmm. you might expect it to be here, here's some peppery type things. Yeah. And it could possibly I, I could see it like with the canned stuff. Yeah, or it could possibly be one of those special purchase items. Because I have gotten them here before, but yeah. I will, apparently won't be getting them in this aisle. Mm-hmm. Okay. I feel like we can skip the rest of that aisle. We've been there, done that, seen it. Didn't get the t-shirt. Now I'm, I'm approaching this aisle in a way I, I normally come from the other end. So I'm yeah, hoping, I'm sure people notice that. And no, it's nothing like that. I'm hoping <laughs> I'm not all off kilter. Yeah. I mess everything up now. <laughs> okay, starting here. Need a cucumber. Another thing I've been making more. Uh, vegetable platter. Yeah. Because I'm trying to get your dad to eat the vegetables <laughs> with the homemade hummus. Yeah. Instead of chips. You know how he says he does oh, yeah. eat chips? Yeah, he does. He does eat chips. A I lot. Mean, I find <laughs> it's like when he's, whenever it's like football season, he just sits down with the chips, hummus, and salsa. Or he, Which is a lot healthier than a lot of people, though. Right, but it'd be better if he took the vegetable yeah. platter with the yeah. homemade hummus. And yeah. That. And you know, he's obviously not opposed to vegetables. He just, no, he's just opposed to things that he has to chop up. Yeah, it, apparently <laughs> they need to be cut up for him and presented to him in a pleasing manner. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like when you uh, you put fruit on the table and nobody will eat it until you put it on the table. Mm -hmm. Same thing with strawberries. Yeah. But it's kind of just like out of sight, out of mind. Apparently nobody in this family can prep vegetables <laughs> or fruits yeah. of any kind. They, they can't be consumed unless they're pre-washed and prepped and whatnot. Yeah. Cantaloupe, forget it. Oh yeah, I know. Is it going on the vegetable plant? The homemade salsa, I've been, I crammed it in some spinach, mm -hmm. and I think I'll cram in a couple stalks of celery. Because the more you displace, like, say, tahini with vegetables, I mean, you know what, maybe by the time I'm, I'm done with it, maybe it's not hummus anymore. Yeah. Maybe it's dip. <laughs> maybe, it's maybe it's vegetable dip. Chickpeas, tahini, and vegetables. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're just dipping vegetables into vegetables. Yeah. Can't get enough of this, and it lasts us for like a couple of meals when I roast when I roast the cauliflower. I'm not there. What's that? Because I'm not there. Possibly. And I still can't fit anything in my mouth. <laughs> it's just a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not for you, but for me. Hmm. Okay. Oops. I don't think I need anything. Oh, let's look down here and see if we got some roasted red peppers. We got mm -hmm. a shot at them. Yeah, I feel like it would be over here. I hope so. It's, is it in like a glass container? Yes. Okay. Well, that helps. A little. This morning. Oh, there's glass stuff over here. I know, I see it. This morning I um, had the dilemma of do I do chili or do I do baked beans? Mm -hmm. Okay, those are beets. That's not going to help us. But I figured beans are easier. So I got two pounds of beans soaking. Because on Saturdays when it's not busy season, we close at four. Yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna hit up the fruit section. I'm just like all over the place. Oh, I know I need some gallon slidey bags. Gallon slidey bags. There we go. <laughs> well, that's a sealy bag, not a slidey bag. Is that what you meant to get? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sealy. I thought you meant like the, the yeah, thing that goes across. Whatever that it is, that's Whatever good. they got. Whatever they got. I'll take it. That's not picky. Master. I just want a big bag to put stuff in. <laughs> It's see-through, also known as transparent. Wow. Yeah, okay, seed I'm bread. Yeah, I'll okay take today. some. Seed bread? Seed bread. Okay. 
And this is, this has its V card, right? Mm hmm. I don't have to Somewhere look at it. Somewhere on there. I don't have I don't to know. look at it and read it and stuff. And just no. trust Unless it. they change the recipe. Why did you have to say that? <laughs> Got the non-GMO verified thing going for it. Yeah. Contains molasses, wheat, organic, soy. I guess we're okay with it. Can you see if it has honey in it, honey? It doesn't. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay, produce picks. Buck fifty-nine for the cans alone. Wow, same price as last time. Might as well take two. Yeah. Pineapple. I've had good pineapple luck lately. Yeah. As long as you know enough to let it get ripe. Okay, blueberries, produce pick, two ninety nine. And you're the only blueberry eater in the house now. I am. So I just eat like a half a pint a day. This will last me for four days. Hmm. That's just math, Greg. Yeah. I'm sure if you're aware of that. Mm -hmm. Now your popsicle is eating strawberries. Yeah. So I will get a couple of those. Well, they're kind of mediocre. I'll just get one. Yeah. They're kind of on the perishable side, you know. Yeah. That's all strawberries okay. are. Okay. Strawberries, banana. Okay, yeah, I need some bananas. I got the melon. I gotta grab some spinach. I should get my big box of spinach from BJ's. Honey crisp. Yeah, I actually got some spinach too, actually. Honey crisp. Because um, all twenty nine a pound. Oh. That's kind of a lot. Yeah. <gasps> so all I'm really eating right now is smoothies. So I haven't been getting like any greens in. Okay, here, look at that's three twenty nine a pound if you buy them loose, but now it's three twenty nine to two pounds if you buy them bagged. Yeah. Granted, some of them might be bad. Yeah. So something to be aware of. Because I used, um, when I made that French toast that I was speaking of, I it just took one, one big apple per batch. Because I made two 8x8 eight eight pans. Yeah. I only took one apple. But uh, if I use the small ones, well, it's probably going to take two or three. Yeah. Okay. So I got some apples. Oh, bananas. What am I thinking? So I'm still buying, like, six. I'm buying four hands of six or so. Yeah, it's kind of small. I mean, you, you're the one who eats the most bananas, I'd yes. say. And except eat, in the winter, I guess, I eat a eat lot. A banana. Although right now I'm probably eating way more bananas than you because all I can really do smoothies. So. Um, yeah, I'm sure you are. Okay, I have to get myself a box of spinach. Yeah. Or bag or whatever. I remember um, the last grocery trip. I uh, got the romaine salad mix. Well, the romaine, the Italian salad mix. The romaine lettuce is still on the. Uh, is it E. coli? Yeah. E. coli list. They're saying if you have it, throw it away. So hmm. I don't know why they're still selling it. Here. Yeah. But I wouldn't buy it. I don't know. Maybe it's from a different batch. Well, they said most of it comes from Arizona. Huh. <laughs> and they haven't really pinpointed um, what a particular farm. So in light mm -hmm. of that, we're not going to be eating the romaine for a while. Okay. So... Check out the hummus. Even though I'm gonna make some, I'll just get a couple. Just yeah, just yeah. yeah. Just and to be safe. Another thing I'm gonna be making soon in the instant pot is gonna be I'm thinking some potato salad. Yeah. Just because the potatoes will cook in eight minutes. It'll be just the right firmness for um, potato salad. Mm -hmm. So and I use hummus in that. Yeah. So that'd be pretty neat. Yeah. Okay, let's check out the freezer section. Mom, they have dessert hummus. Oh, wait a minute, what's this? Nice Vanilla potato. beet? Look at that. Okay. Fajita, chipotle, black beet. This is really hard to reach. You want my glasses, Craig? Yeah. Maybe it's happened to you. Okay, here, this says contains eggs and milk. Oh. So, we're going to put this back. Hmm. This one says chickpeas, water, coconut, uh, sugar, milk, and milk. So this one's vegan. I don't know if you if you care to have vanilla bean hummus. I do. Okay. Don't know what I'll dip in it just yet, but yeah. what about this? Cucumber dill. 
Should we keep them down? I feel like somebody else is trying not to get into the hummus and we're, <laughs> we're being hummus hogs, kind of. Okay. I can't read all that. Can you hold this? I gotta get my, uh... <laughs> you gotta get your glasses. X-ray vision glasses. <laughs> See anything bad? I didn't. Okay. In the two seconds. Carbonzo beans, tahini, cucumbers, soybean oil, garlic, salt, citric acid, cucumber juice powder, dill, potassium, sorbate, sodium, benzoic fats, making me hungry. Dill. I didn't see. Did I say the word oil? I don't oh, know. Vanilla oil is the last one, but I think that's still vegan, so we'll take a crack at it. Yeah. Okay, let's check out this freezer stuff. Let's see if there's anything new. Okay. So Did you like the, what was it, what did you get last time, uh, wheat, the Fusilli wheat salad? This potato medley thing, I love these, I think they're still, still vegan. <gasps> they are, yay! <laughs> it's like, my crack. But uh, what's your review on that uh, Fusilli wheat salad? I was waiting for you. Huh? I'm waiting for your teeth to be uh, oh. okay to eat. No, that may never happen. Oh, seriously? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just stuck like this. Uh, I'm, I'm waiting for you, Craig. <laughs> This is a quick go-to meal. Those are the pepper snap peas, garlic herbs. It's raw, yeah. but I love it. But sometimes when I'm working in the candy shop by myself and I didn't bring any food down with me. Well, there you go. Okay, I know I need a couple of... These are probably vegan. Fruit and veggie bars? Yeah. Tangerine carrot. <laughs> well, it's, it sounds like it's vegan. It sounds orange. <laughs> I don't see the M word. Nope. Yeah, it looks like it's juice and xanthan gum. Okay. What the heck? <laughs> I'll get a blueberry one. <laughs> so Dad can have the orange one, you can have that one? Oh, we can probably share. Well, he's not going to try the blueberry one. Oh, that's right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Well, he doesn't like blueberries, and maybe he likes blueberry flavored things. If you don't tell but him I what it is, it. he'd probably be more likely to try it if you told him what it was beet. Roasted vegetable pizza. <laughs> oh, too bad there's cheese on yeah, it. Yeah, that'd be great if they used that Aldi cheese that they made at one time. Okay, I'll take one quick look on this side. That's just ice cream stuff. Probably not. Um, added it back over here. Add what? Vegan stuff. Oh yeah. Like hot dogs or sausage yeah. or something. Oh okay. Cool. Hot dogs and the sausage. So I did grab nice. some, and we're having them on pizza tonight. Oh nice. The hot dogs or the sausage? The sausage. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds a little better. Yeah. Okay. Let's grab some rye bread. Oh, you know, I think I'm I'm squishing my sweet my sweet bread. <laughs> Good move, Terry. Gotta get some rice bread for your dad. Don't yeah, we One do the, the low carb thing. That's just what I could reach. Yeah. We're really doing the low carb thing. Okay, so now we're gonna get some sauce and hopefully some roasted red peppers. Otherwise, it's going on the Wegmans yeah, I feel like this would be like the last place it would be. The last stand. <laughs> the last stand for roasted vegetables. Sorry. Okay, let's see if this burned us again. Doesn't say contains milk. What were they thinking when they did it? I don't know. It's like they just did it like temporarily. Are you still scarred by that? Yeah. I totally am. Sometimes I wake up in the middle. Never mind, I can't talk. You just about have that. nightmares. Cold sweats. It's real. Could be that or it could be menopause. I've realized, now that you know, you're filming me all the time, um, that I apparently have this habit of getting impulse purchases. Yeah. You know how Gotta get them for review's sake. I'd probably get them anyway. Yeah. Um, you know how they say don't shop when you're hungry? Mm -hmm. Don't shop when you're vegan. <laughs> <laughs> Or when you're filming and you're gonna do a review later. 
I didn't get it for the VW truck. <laughs> I kind of was like, oh, that looks good. And what if they don't have it next time? Yeah. yeah. So for impulse purchases today, we got the um, a couple kinds of hummus. Yeah. Cucumber Did you get dill. The, yeah, you got the vanilla bean one too. And the vanilla bean. So that's mm -hmm. two impulse purchases. And then there's uh, my crack, which is the garden vegetable medley. Mm. That frozen thing. Oh, Where you get the, the frozen popsicle things. And then the, pro the um, popsicle. Oh, yeah, people always want to know how much everything, how much yes. was everything. Okay. It's a pretty good sized grocery cart. 122.22. Okay. Keep in mind that the maple syrup, I got two maple syrups. So we're having a shower and we're going to be doing French toast. Maple syrup is six sixty nine each. Oh, so wow. that's, yeah, so that's like 13 bucks worth of. Got a maple bit syrup, more yeah. Of maple syrup. And then I also, your kale was in there too. Mm. So. That's my kale. That's your kale. <laughs> that's your kale. <laughs> so, I guess that's all I have to say about that. Okay, you guys ready for the taste test? What are we tasting? Whatever you want first. Okay. I'm just not in it for the people wondering. I'm not in it because I can't open my mouth, my mouth very much still. And also, I still have like a pocket in the back of my gums where I can very easily get food stuck. No, so. Craig has no teeth, Craig. So. <laughs> Boxes so, in the way. no, none of them. Okay, well, we have here, might as well start with an appetizer of carrot, nope, cucumber, <laughs> cucumber, dill, hummus. That's too high. There you go. See, it's a good thing I'm back here, so I can. I, can... <laughs> mm -hmm. I know, I'm showing your eyes. See, yeah, crack? See, crack? <laughs> see, crack? So, cucumber, dill, hummus. Now, just the one thing about this I noticed that's a little different there's nothing in the middle to stir in. Oh, you know what? I, I'm behind the camera, so I can be a camera person. Oh, you can like pick Whoa. it up and move it around? Whoa. Is this new? Yeah, new technology. That is neat. That's pretty neat. So we've got cucumber dill hummus. So we have some crackers we can test it with. <laughs> some chips we can test it with. Oh, boy. Or we have some veggies we can test it with. We can even test our cucumber dill hummus with cucumbers. If we're so inclined. What do you think, Dad? Do you have an answer already? <laughs> mm. Tastes like cucumber. Yeah? <laughs> and dill. Yeah? Imagine that. Okay, I know you're not the biggest fan of fresh dill, so... For some... I'm going to try it with a cracker. I don't think I like it. Yeah. I like dill pickles, but it's kind of too much dill for me. Mm-hmm. I think. I'll try it one more. <laughs> I can't judge it on just one. You're not getting a dill thrill? Might be good on a veggie burger. Yeah. If you want oh, a yeah. dill, little dill, just put a little on, you know. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't find it overly dilly. Yeah. I like it. I eat it. I am dilly eating dilly. it. Dilly dilly. Milly vanilla. Mm -hmm. And then you guys got another hummus. Mm -hmm. Multiple hummus. This is dessert hummus. We have to eat um the other thing first. Well, other thing first. Pasta salad. Oh, right, because it's dessert. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't want to spoil your your supper. I like the cucumber dill dip on a chip. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'd be better on a sandwich. Yeah, it'd be. Mm -hmm. Real good on a sandwich. A sandwich. Oh, boy. So this is... Oh, we get little bowls. Yeah. <laughs> 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 It smells good when we were making it in the microwave. Oh, this is the, so we got this one last time, and Mom was waiting for my teeth to heal, but I was like, well, <laughs> it's it going to be a while. <laughs> no teeth crack. And I know people wanted to see Kat and, Kat and my parents in a video, so this yeah. is another excuse. Here you are. <laughs> it's your lucky day. <laughs> Whole wheat. Yeah. And it's not, it's not organic, but it's simply nature, a simple choice. Wow. Let's try it out. Is there any seasoning in it? I'll show you guys. I'm Italian. I see some seasoning. Looks like parsley, oregano, basil. Your basics. It says, yeah, just salt, black pepper, and olive oil, pretty much. And some grilled veggies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's like some what, uh, zucchini and peppers. Mm-hmm. And noodles. It's good. It's got a decent amount of veggies in it. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's actually a lot. It's probably with good. your dried pasta mixes. It's dehydrated stuff, and it's like three peas, if you're lucky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that actually looks like a lot of vegetables, mm -hmm. though. That's good. I like it. Hmm. It's good when you yeah. don't want to take the time to make pasta. The pasta doesn't take that long. Yeah. Yeah, this one, is, it was like uh, microwave for two minutes, mix it around, microwave for two minutes, and then you said it still needed to be microwaved a little bit. Mm -hmm. So maybe another two minutes or something. And it said serve it with olive oil, but we just did it with olive I taste it. the oil, for sure. Yeah. But that's not bad. I like yeah. That. Tastes good. Mm hmm So did you add the oil or not? No. Because yeah, I don't think it needed any oil on yeah. the it's already. Pan. It already looks somewhat oily. Yeah, it's pretty, like there's a lot of oil at the bottom. Oh, is there? Yeah, I was going to say. Oh, yeah, I, I can see that. Mm -hmm. You don't need to add any. Yeah. No, I wonder if you could, um, sure. instead of microwaving it, can you just thaw it out and do it? Okay, you can, it looks like. Empty the contents of the bag into a bowl, thaw overnight. When thawed, stir the pasta, add a tablespoon of olive oil and serve. Hmm. So that's even less effort. Wow. So they're basically, you'd have to open the bag, and we would be skipping the olive oil thing, so we would just open the bag. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that was a decent amount of veggies. Yeah. Because we like that kind of thing. <laughs> you are vegan. I am? For onions. Yeah, as as this is the first time I've heard of this. Yeah. So a serving of this is going to give you two grams of fiber. Not really that much. Four grams of sugar, four grams of protein, and if you add the olive oil, six grams of fat. And they're saying that that's four servings. Mm -hmm. now, to me, truthfully, it's one. two servings. Oh, I was going to well, say yeah. one. Mm -hmm. One if it's serving up. You can eat the whole thing by yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's thing. not really like that much. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, <laughs> what are you trying to say? Too, so. Yeah, Kat and I eat as much as each other. <laughs> We eat the same amount, which pretty is much. Yeah, it's pretty convenient. Yeah. <laughs> I would have eaten that much too. Yeah. And if you're hungry, came home from work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That'd be good to bring to work. Yeah. If yeah. you work someplace for like a long time and you have a lunch break, you know, mm -hmm. like a normal people job. Like a normal people job. <laughs> <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> yeah. Not any of us actually. No. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of funny. Mm -hmm. but yeah. Yeah. That would be good for like work or school if you have a microwave. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm excited to see the vanilla bean hummus. Yeah, and then we gotta do the popsicles before they melt. Mm-hmm. I've never tried sweet hummus before. Mm. So, I'm interested. I hope <laughs> you're in for a treat. Oh, should I get my chocolate covered chips? Yeah. <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> this video is sponsored by me. Because <laughs> <laughs> I bought the chips. <laughs> and, and they're the... They're downstairs. Yeah, the mom and dad. <laughs> the mom and dad chips. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll put an iCard up here, but if you guys didn't know, my parents are candy makers. And they made the chocolate potato chips. I'll no, this is a this. dessert hummus. So. Dessert. Dad's eating it with a tortilla chip. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, you can eat it with whatever you want. I'm going to have it with a pretzel and a potato chip. May oh. I have a pretzel, please? There you go. I wasn't sure which one you wanted, so I wanted you to have the luxury of picking. Mm. Are you trying it with just the hummus? It tastes like ice cream. Itself. Yeah? Like frosting? Yeah, it's like a mixture of like frosty and cookie dough or something. Yeah, is yeah, that kind of cold? That's not a bad thing. Yeah. <laughs> if you froze it, it'd be like ice cream. It's mm -hmm. really good with this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Yeah, that strong vanilla taste, yeah. which I like. It's yummy on a pretzel. Yeah, it's vanilla, vanilla and uh, it tastes sweet. Mm hmm what is the fat on it? Let's see. So the serving is two tablespoons. One gram of fat. <laughs> Not too shabby. Yeah. yeah. Compared to if you bought like frosting. What is the fat? Is it just, just the frosting. olive oil or something? Or, or is there a tahini? Okay. Chickpeas. Water. Coconut oil. Organic turbinated sugar. Pure vanilla extract. Boy, they're not messing around. Yeah. <laughs> Ground vanilla beans, sea salt, cultured dextrose, all natural something. Could, uh, could use it like frosting. Yeah. Oh yeah. Can, yeah, this would be good on a cupcake. Yeah. yeah I like when I I got the the vanilla bean. Chips, I got the vanilla bean frosting. Uh, that Wegmans before, and I taste, tasted that, and the chocolate. There's like a brownie batter one. I feel like that one they could both be used as brownie batter. Something. Yeah, they could both be used as frosting. Just use hummus as frosting. Mm -hmm. It's like a barely healthier version or than frosting. Could, um, um, if you had some vegan graham crackers. Yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Put on some s'mores. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely good on a chip. 
Yeah. Although it's kind of over overwhelming the chip, really. Yeah. Because I feel like if you're gonna eat a chocolate covered potato, potato chip, it's, it's good as it is. Taste. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you want to be covering it up with yeah. bean hummus. Mm-hmm. With the pretzels, on the other hand, they're happy to be covered up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They told me. What if you guys did pretzel rods covered in vanilla hummus covered in chocolate? Well, <laughs> you know how that hummus is kind of a refrigerated yeah. thing. And you guys, you guys don't have a refrigerated section? No. Wow. And we're going to keep it that way. <laughs> yeah. That sounds expensive. Yeah. It does. Cha-ching. <laughs> <laughs> so should we try a popsicle before they melt? Yeah. Yep. Okay, Steve, you want two blueberries, one for each hand? <laughs> Yeah, you'll start with blueberry or I want to try orange. the other one. Yeah, this is tangerine <laughs> carrot, sounds, which sounds yeah, interesting. Yeah, they're calling it fruit and veggie bars. Mm -hmm. But then down here it's tangerine carrot and fruit and veggie juices. Mm. So there will not be a carrot stick huh. in your popsicle. That's Maybe interesting. that's the stick. It's yeah. A, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so the first thing. Good. That stick is actually a stick. All right. The first ingredient is water, and then it's a lot of um, juice the concentrate. The so I'm, wow. I'm just kind of wondering if it's going to be watery or not, you know? We'll see. Well, see how we've left it out for about 10 minutes. Yeah. Maybe. Well, I don't think that's enough time for it to melt, especially when it's like enclosed in a box with a bunch of other cold things. Hmm. Look at that. Is it soft? Yeah. Because, Mom, you bit right into that. It's soft. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm. Right, Craig, you could probably eat this. Yeah, probably right. could. Awesome. Right, I'll take that. It tastes like sherbet. Mm -hmm. I was going to say that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm, it is really soft. But it's healthy because there's carrots in it. Mm. This is this is really this flavorful. Is a, a fine popsicle. Yeah. yeah, this is a lot better than I thought it would be. Because it's kind of a little bit creamy. Mm hmm. Wow. I expect that. Yeah, and the first blueberry. ingredient. Oh. Yeah, it tastes like that. Yeah. Okay, the blueberry one has organic apple juice. It's funny when they make the they're calling it fruit and veggie bars. Oh, blueberry, pumpkin, and fruit and veggie juices. Yeah. But the oh, first yeah. ingredient's apple juice. Then there's organic cane sugar, organic pumpkin juice, organic lemon juice, grape juice, blueberries all the way down there. Organic yeah. blueberry <laughs> juice, concentrate, natural flavor, organic beet concentrate, oh, beets. and guar gum. Yeah, I, th I think I made a joke actually at the store that dad would be more likely to eat um, beet flavored popsicle over a blueberry one, mm -hmm. but there's beet in it, which is kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> this is way really better than a, than a regular popsicle. Yeah, uh -huh. it's, it's, it's surprisingly really good. Because really I remember like I we had popsicles at, in Milwaukee. Um, <laughs> yeah, I bought these popsicles and they were Do you want to try it? Oh, sure. Blueberry? Sure. Um, and they, it they just, were, it was supposed yeah, to be very chocolate, watery. But it just tasted like water with chocolate yeah. flavoring. Mm -hmm. like, oh. mm, that's good too. But great. yeah, because they're kind of creamy. Mm -hmm. Which this reminds me of a push pop mm. one. You know what I'm talking about? Italian ice, kind of. Yeah. Uh huh. Or that pop school that's like at a tube and you push it through. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it I don't like think that. I was ever rich enough to have one of those. Mm -hmm. I feel like these are even better than. Are you talking about like the the ones that are just in a little tube and you just squeeze them out? Yeah, you oh, push you, you got mom. You got those for us when we're when we're growing up sometimes. It was nice of me. <laughs> so you were rich enough to get them. But not for me. Yeah. There's a few kids. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was a popsicle market. Mm hmm Yeah. So do you guys have a favorite? Mm. Well, since I've only tried the blueberry. Blueberry. Oh, I meant like of all the things, like the hummuses and the fusilli wheat salad. I like the popsicle the best. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> I, would, I was going to say that's my favorite too, but I haven't tried anything else. I like the pretzels. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and the chocolate covered potato chips. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those, those are yeah. the best. Hands yeah. down. Mm hmm Would you guys recommend that people buy them? Yeah, because mm -hmm. if you steal them, I will come after you. <laughs> <laughs> I will hunt you down. Mm -hmm. Like a bush She'll chase pig. you down the street. Yeah, she actually did that before to some kids. Yeah. <laughs> they knocked my sign down. Think I'm going to take that sitting down? Didn't you catch one of them or something? Yeah, but can't really do anything to them except scare them. <laughs> what did you say to them? I let him get away. Then, then I called the police. And oh. the police gave him a good talking to. Yeah, didn't they like pretend that they were in really big trouble or something? Oh, just yeah. Just to scare them? Yeah. <laughs> I totally did. Yeah, they're probably in jail. Now, sc <laughs> they scared him straight. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. So the popsicles are their favorite. And mm -hmm. so, what you want to just tell me what you think of the other things? Well, like the final the vanilla hummus. That was a really good flavor. Yeah, that's really yeah. good. I was yeah. surprised. That's surprising. I like the cucumber or dill. That's good. I mean, it's not something I would eat with lots of chips. I'd like have an essence of it on a sandwich or yeah. something. Yeah. Yeah. yeah probably good. Dill like was a, good. a hummus wrap good. or something. Mm hmm. But I wouldn't be craving it. Yeah. I'd be like, oh, I wouldn't mind some of that vanilla hummus. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
And this was good, a good quick meal. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could just easily make it yourself. Except, yeah. well, it's got grilled vegetables. Yeah. I don't really want to be grilling any vegetables. So <laughs> I, I would buy that. Yeah. yeah. I can't remember how much it was, though. Hmm. That was two videos ago. Yeah. <laughs> it was a special purchase, which means they don't always have it. Mm hmm. I love Aldi. Mm hmm. Aldi's the best store. You never around. know what you're going to get. Yeah. I just love the way that it is, like how the aisles are. It's so organized. Mm -hmm. there, there's never carts all over the, right. yeah. the parking lot. Yeah. And even if there's a long line, they get you through it. Yeah, mm -hmm. prices are great. You have to bring your own bags. I love it. It's mm. German. Yeah. Germanophile, are you? <laughs> I just love Germany because I was there. So. Oh, yeah. For a little bit. What Not were you doing there? Long. I was visiting my friend mm -hmm. um, at her grandma's house. Speaking German, do you? Um, yeah, I. I'm not good at speaking. <laughs> <laughs> you just know a couple. It's really words. hard to learn. It's so different than any other language. It's like, hmm. at least like French and Spanish, it's kind of similar right. kind of sounding. Yeah. But with German, it's like totally it's different. completely it's different. It's a completely different word and like twelve letters long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, everything's made really well in Germany. So especially beer and yeah. Aldi. <laughs> Aldi's German. It's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love Aldi. Mm -hmm.